Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jimmy. I'm with Tropicana Golf and if you want to be really good at golf, you must be two things. Consistent and repeatable. You hear it all the time. Consistent, repeatable, consistent, repeatable. But what does that mean? Let me share a little story with you. Last night we played an 18 hole par three golf course. Every hole is between 90 and 120 yards. That means you're hitting 18 tee shots that distance. You better be consistent and repeatable. And as I watch people's swings, they're not. They're doing different things on every hole. You're hitting kind of the same shot every time. But why are you doing different things? One of my best buds, Mr. Richie Mason, hell of an athlete. You can tell this guy can play anything. He knows how to use his body, but he swings the club different every single time. And he's working on it and he's going to get it. But there's a little thing that you can do every single time to make sure that your ball flight is consistent, that your shape is repeatable, and that when you swing the club, it's gonna come out the same way every time. I'm gonna share it with you, and it's coming up right now. Okay, consistent and repeatable. What does that mean? It means just that, consistent and repeatable. Your ball flight is consistent and repeatable. Your shot shape is consistent and repeatable. Your golf swing is consistent and repeatable. How do you do it? Well, in order to have the same results over and over and over, you gotta swing the club the same way over and over and over and over. I see so many people switching up their shots, their swing, I'm sorry. Sometimes they're here. And sometimes they're here and sometimes they're here. What do you, what, what? you got to do it the same way. I try to swing every single club the same exact way. And the way that works for me and I think will work for you is by doing this. I get right here, left arm parallel. That's what I envision right there. This is where my swing ends. Now, in reality, it probably goes up a little bit higher because feel and real are different. But I like to feel left arm parallel and from here, okay? So you can see my watch. I'm not, I'm not hiding it. I'm not cupping it. I'm here. I show you my watch. And from here, I take my belly button and I turn it to the target while keeping my head down at the ball. That's it. That's the whole swing whether I have this club, a pitching wedge, whatever. Show the watch, which is also waving hello. If you notice, I'm waving hello to the camera right here. That's it. Left arm parallel. And then I turn back. If you're going to tell me that it's not enough backswing to hit the ball hard, I would like you to call John Rom first. Talk to him. Explain to him your thoughts. Tell me what he says and then go back to swinging left arm parallel. That guy pounds the ball and takes a short backswing. If it works for him, I think it'll work for you. Ben Hogan, same thing. Ben Hogan was a little longer with his driver, but as he got older, his irons were here. And that dude was a marksman. He didn't miss. So try it. Consistency and repeatable. Bam. Belly button of the target, head down. That's it. When you take the club way up here, that is the equivalent of taking a baseball, standing on the center field wall, throwing it to the catcher and expecting to hit him right here. You're not gonna do it, maybe once out of a thousand times. But if you're standing on the pitcher's mound and you're throwing to the catcher, you're gonna hit him a lot more often. Pitcher's mound, center field, make sense? Get it right here. Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna play a couple holes, we're gonna play them live, no editing, here we go. I'm gonna show you that this works, okay? It's a dog leg left, par four. I'm gonna punch one up there. I can't hit it super hard because it'll run through the fairway. So I get it here, I turn back. Let me make sure that you can see that before I waste this shot. Oh yeah, you can see it. Wonderful, my cameraman, you know, called out sick again, my guy, world's greatest employee. Left arm parallel, belly button to the target, boom. 
head down. Head down is so important. Ready? Here we go. Dead straight. Perfect job. Thank you very much. Runs up there. Wonderful. I didn't do too much. I didn't do too much at all. I just turned back and turned forward. Left arm parallel. Ball goes straight. with A little bit of a fade, which is what I like to play. It keeps the ball safe. It keeps it going. Like, like it's my shot. Consistent and repeatable. If your shot goes the other way, fine. I'm not telling you you have to play a fade. I'm telling you, you better hit the same shot, the shot, same shot shape every time. Can you mix it up? Yeah, for sure, if you know how. But if you're missing balls right and you're missing balls left and you're chunking them, you, you, you don't know what you're doing. So pick a spot, pick a shot, pick a swing, and go. That's all I'm saying. Make it consistent and repeatable every time. Now my ball is right here in the first cut of rough. No big deal. I hit it through the fairway, but it's fine. Okay, we're in the 150 yard range. It is a blue flag. Okay, so what do I want to do? Do I want to get one to two feet? Yeah, for sure. Am I going to do that? Probably not. So I'm going to take a pitching wedge and hit it 142 yards or 146 yards. And if it's a little short, well, then so be it. I'll put one up there and then try to make four. But I'm not going to fly it. I'm not going to take a nine iron or an eight iron and hit it as hard as I can and then go off the back of the green. No. Consistent and repeatable. Just that. And if it comes up short, well, so be it. And if I make a bogey, so be it. But I'm not hitting balls over there and pulling it. No, they're all going to be about the same shot. That's how you play well, over and over and over. Head down, left arm parallel. That's already too much thinking. Okay, that's already. I'm already out of my mind with it. I'm trying to explain it to you, but I, you can't do that. You just got to get here and there. That's it. Just do that. Stop thinking about all these technicalities. Just do it. But keep your head down for sure. Guess what? It's 10 yards short. It's perfect. It's out of the bunker. I have a shot. The ball didn't go in the bunker. It's not in the trees. Like, that's a tough shot. It's out of the rough. Like, it's a whole thing. But safe. Safe. Stolen base. Now, what can I do now? I can chip it. I can putt it. It's a little far to putt. So you're going to get to see some 69 action. That'll be nasty. I have a 69 degree wedge that I live and die by. I don't die very often. I live a lot more than I die. But I want you to see it. So we're going to use it. Here it is. 69. And... Guess what's back in the bag, ladies and gentlemen? Dun, 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 dun. The Palmetto, the Tropicana Palmetto putter. Some of you were asking, why won't you focus? Come on. Need a camera guy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, it's not focusing. Anyway, this is the Palmetto putter. Maybe I should go in the sun, huh? Oh, there we are. Look at that shine on that baby. She's a beaut. You were asking what happened to it. Well, I was getting it recalibrated, different weight. It's back now, so you don't have to worry anymore. I don't know why it won't like focus on here. Mm, anyway, it's beautiful, as you can see. And uh, it's not done yet, meaning I'm working out some kinks with it. I was hooking putts. That's the thing. I was hooking putts, four foot putts. I was hooking them and it, it drove me insane. So I redistributed the weight on the putter and it's working a lot better. I'm just still getting used to it, but I do like it a lot more. So when it's done and when it's perfect, I will make it available so that people can have a palmetto in their life as well. But it is gorgeous. It's a great like little collector's item too. These blade putters are Marvelous. Okay. 69 time. 
What does that mean? It means that I have a 69 degree wedge. Now, people take whatever wedge they're gonna play and they get here. Let's pretend that the green is that way and they go like this and slice at the bowl. You don't wanna hit a chip shot like that. You wanna get here, you want your weight a little forward here and you wanna lift the club and bang it into the back of the ball, just there. You don't want it like up and crazy. And if you're great, yeah, you can do that. But for the most part, you need to be here with your weight a little forward, lift the club up and run it into the back of the ball. I have a 20 yard, 18 yard shot. Boom, boom. I keep the ball headed towards the pin. Let's try to make a par putt, but we got to get this one up there first. Here we go. Weight forward, run it into it. Ball goes up, it comes down, travels towards the hole. Bing, bang, boom. Was that hard? I don't think so. That's how you use the 69. I hope you could see that. I hope I wasn't fat head standing in the middle <laughs> right in front of it. Okay, this is a perfect example. These were the putts I was hooking. They were like three, four, five footers, and they were going three feet left. It was driving me insane, literally insane. I couldn't figure it out. I slowed it down. I was like, it's got to be the weight on the putter. It's closing the face. So I fixed it. There it is. Par putt coming up. Now, I was missing putts over here. Like here. Like crazy. I was just boom. Anyway, I think I fixed it. We're going to find out. So how do we figure out what way this is going? I straddle the line. I instantly feel that the weight is on this, this way. You see how it's not this way, it's this way. So if I'm falling this way, that means the ball's going to fall this way. Is the weight on my toes? Not really. Is it on my heels? Mm, not really. It's probably a flattish uphill putt. Flattish, but a little uphill. Okay. And I know it's going to go that way. I aim somewhere over here. I just stroke it and let it do its thing. Let's line it up. Boom, right there. I take a practice putt here, there. Again, bing, boom. Again, bing, boom. The face is not closing anymore for me to hook putts. I won't hook this putt, which is monumental. Most people, when a short putt like this, they go like this. It's over here. You can't hook this. You can't hook this putter. And that was the whole point. Head down, putt it, keep my head down, listen for the sound of greatness. <clears throat> I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to explain to you how important it is. How important consistency is and being able to repeat your golf swing is. It is everything. It is everything. You must pick a swing and go for it, okay? And I suggest a little less. Middle of the road, okay? Don't get way up here. It's not necessary. You just saw me play this hole. I didn't even get it to the green because I didn't swing super hard, but I'm able to play like that. And yeah, you're not going to hit it 370, but you're not going to three hit it 370 anyway. Okay, so keep it short, keep it tight, keep it consistent, keep it repeatable. My name's Jimmy. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.